Hey everyone, it's Adam Ferns here, bringing you with a new video, and this is going to be my top 10 Pokemon from Generation 6. And Generation 6 consists of the games X and Y. No remakes because, don't know why, they got remakes of Gen 3, but they don't count because they're Gen 3 Pokemon. So, <laughs> it's just a Pokemon I was introducing X and Y, it's so a relatively small amount, 80 odds. So, yeah, let's get into this. Uh... This is my opinion, so if your opinion's different, don't hate me for it. And please feel free to leave your top 10, top 5, even top 3 down in the comments below, because I will read them on both channels, and um, I will uh, just respond and just say, well, that's a nice list. There was something else I was going to say, but um, <laughs> I'm too tired for this. Okay, um, let's get right into this. We're going to start off with three honourable mentions, like I always do. Those po Pokemon are Dragalge, Avalug, and Yveltal. Or according to MNJ TV, Yveltal. But um, Yveltal, I call it, because uh, we're not on MNJ TV. So um, those three Pokemon are here because I rarely use them, especially Yveltal. But um, Avalug and Dragalge, I don't really use that often, and when I do, they either do quite a bit of damage to Gouji, or they go down in one hit, Avalug. But um, Avalug's design is what's keeping it just before, just in the honourable mentions, Gouji's design as well. Yveltal, well, it's just, it's Yveltal. <laughs> you can't hate Yveltal for no reason, because you can't hate on Yveltal. Um, that's my opinion anyway. Getting into the top 10, we have number 10. Xerneas. Now Xerneas is the counterpart to Yveltal, the good part, and a tree. <laughs> Xerneas, um, just guess a Xerneas, give it the item power herb, go into, and use Geomancy in a, in a random battle, you win straight away. Look. <laughs> uh, I've used Geomancy power herb Xerneas so many times, and I've lost count of how many times I've won. It was quite a fair amount, that's all I can say. Moving on, ninth place, Pangoro. This one's here just for its design, that's it. Um, experience out of it, not good, because I haven't had many experiences of it. And um, normally when I play for X and Y, I normally have a dark or fighting type planned before I can get a Pangoro. The dark type being Greninja, the fighter type either being Harlucha or Lucario. <laughs> Pangora just gets abandoned on the stick. Like, unless I start with Fennekin and don't plan to have a Harlucha or Lucario, maybe I'll use Pangora. But that's it, I probably won't. <coughs> Eighth place is Delphox. Now, Delphox is a relatively hated Pokemon in the Pokemon community. Um, but I am here to say... I'm not one of those haters. I actually like Delphox. Its design is a bit weird, but its moveset and stats are very wide, and um, you can have a diverse amount of moves, like Mystical Fire, Grass Knot, Psychic, and Dazzling Gleam. That's covering quite a fair amount of types at the moment. Probably not Grass Knot, swap it with, I don't know, um, I was going to say Shadow Ball, but that would be just a discount Psychic, but, um, Carmine, maybe, um, I can't really think of a move in the moment, but I don't know if it can learn it, Thunderbolt, I don't think it can learn it, but if it can learn it, give it that, it's a diverse move set, and it can counter quite a lot of types. Uh, seventh place, we have, um, Sorry, I just looked at the name and I just remembered what Lucas said about this <laughs> Pokemon. <laughs> it was it was hilarious. Um, seventh place is Tyrantrum, and <laughs> Tyrantrum's here because um, it's a T Rex. Like <laughs> you can't. Anyone growing up knows what dinosaurs are, and everyone likes or is okay with a T Rex. And to have a Pokemon based off a T Rex is just like. Um, Praise Lord Jesus, because it's a great Pokemon, and it shows. Its type is not a great type combination. 
but its moveset, stats, and design are all amazing, and I had great experiences with it. And it's on some of my strongest teams as well, so that's amazing. Sick place is Neuvern, and Neuvern's here simply because of the anime, because of how adorable it was when it was a Neuvert, and how useless it was when it was a Neuvert. It was not completely useless, not as useless as, as Ash's Torterra, but um, Ash's Neuvern wasn't useful, but it did do a fair amount where I'm like, oh, I like it, I like it, and its design is great. It was my favourite dragon type then. A ton of other dragon types came in. <laughs> but Neuburn being 6th place isn't that bad for Gen 6, actually. Um, but, yeah. There's one other flying type, well, two, that actually beat Neuburn for me. And that is number 5, Talonflame. Probably, to most people, the best regional birds of any region. But to me, it is... I'm trying to think of the other regional birds. We have Swallow, Bravia. Well, Bravia is not, technically not a regional bird. The regional birds are Pidgeot, Noctowl, Swallow, Staraptor, Unpheasant, Brave, <laughs> Talonflame, Two Cannon, and a new one, Corvic Knight. The best one is Staraptor to me, followed by probably. Yeah. Yeah, let's say Talonflame. Then Swallow, then Corvic Knight, then Two Cannon. Then Pidgeot, then Unpheasant, and then Noctowl. And the only need to say Noctowl last because I never used the no Noctowl. And the few times I did, it didn't really work out well. And the game that is available in, uh, just catch a Pidgey because it's also available there. <laughs> it's much better. Um, so, yeah, Talon Flame's design is great. It's probably the best Pokemon to be hatching eggs with, with Flame Body as its ability. And its other ability, Gale Wings, gives priority to flying type moves when you're at full health, which isn't really good, especially since the best flying type move Town Pen can learn is Brave Bird. But um, for back when that ability was in Gen 6, it was actually a really good ability because it was priority to all flying type moves, no matter how much HP you have. But Town Flame's always that quick Pokemon that can come in, give an attack, go out. That's what I always use it for, anyway. Fourth place, we have Sylveon. This is my, by far my favourite evolution of the entire evolution group. And if I'm correct, it was the only evolution to actually get on to any of these top tens. Because I know Glaceon and Leafeon didn't. Umbreon and Espeon, I feel like Umbreon may have got onto it. But I don't think he has. No, he has not. And neither has any of the other evolutions apart from Eevee. So, yeah, just by looking at all these rankings, you know Sylveon was my favourite, and still is. Um, it's, I just like it for its design, its use in the anime, belonging to Serena. And um, I think it just has to be with the fact that I had some great experience with it. Its moveset isn't very diverse, but it makes up for that for how adorable it looks. It's so cute! Um, third place, we have Aegislash. Now, most people say Aegislash, but uh, from the anime, I started calling it Aegislash, and I haven't changed it since. Aegislash is um, probably the most... Yeah, it probably is the most useful Pokemon in the uh, Kalos region. Um, from the gym leaders that you go against when you get Aegislash, it can beat Grant, it can beat um, Karina, because it's immune to fighting types. Ramos, it can because it's resistant to it. Clement, yep. Uh, that will be a tough one, though. Valerie, obviously. Olympia, yes. And Wolfric, yes. It is the most useful Pokemon going against the gym team. Going against the gym leaders. And uh, its design is amazing. It was very useful with my Pokemon Y Nuzlocke I had. And I remember I called my Aegislash Nala's Ghost. Uh... Long story short, my first Pokemon that died was a Nala, was called Nala, and I was like, okay, next Pokemon I encountered was a ghost type, and I caught it, named it Nala's Ghost. Um, what else about Nala's Ghost, Aegislash, um, or Aegislash? <laughs> um, there was something else I wanted to say about it. Oh, yeah. It was, um, in the Elite Four, it's probably most useful against Wickstrom. 
maybe Dra Drasna? Not Malva, guaranteed. Summon Diantha. I was going to say yes for Seabold, but considering I lost my Aegis Slash to Seabold, <laughs> probably not. Um, <laughs> that was, that, that way, the way I lost Aegis Slash was BS. Watch the Pokemon Y Nuzlocke to find out how I lost Aegis Slash to Seabold. <laughs> Second place, we have Halucha. Uh, hold on. If I remember Ash's team correctly. One, two, three, four. What's this other two? Oh yeah, Gujo and Pikachu, but they're not here. Um, so Halucha's Ash's third Pokemon that was with him in the Kalos region on this list. And we all know what number one is. Um, but Halucha's there for its design, its use, its moveset is very diverse. It's a fast, strong attacker. And from where you get it, it can beat Karina, Ramos, not Clement, because that would just be stupid. Same with Valerie, just be stupid. Same with Olympia, just be stupid. But it can beat Wolfric, Wickstrom. If you're lucky, Malva. But um, I wouldn't really use Halucha for Malva. I'll use number one, Greninja, for Malva. And for that, um, Greninja's... Greninja, if you don't know, is my favourite Pokemon of all time. And considering that I'm a Gen 4, Gen 4 purist, um, <laughs> having my favourite Pokemon be from Gen 6 kind of goes against being a purist for Gen 4. But um, I love its design. Its moveset is incredibly diverse. Same with its stats. By far the best star set of the Kalos region. I don't care what you have to say about Delphox and Chestnut. Um... <laughs> Um, and its hidden ability, Protein, is probably one of the most over overpowered abilities, given any move you use the same type of attack bonus, including moves which aren't your original type for Greninja, which is Ice Beam, Smackdown, Shadow, Shadow Ball? Can it learn Shadow Ball? Um, I never really given my Greninja Shadow Ball. Extra Sensory, um cut <laughs> it can change into any of those types of moves giving it all stab um and that is actually all for this ranking um yeah so gonna just my favorite pokemon of all time at the moment um yeah that's all for this time if you liked what you heard or saw leave a like leave a comment don't forget to subscribe press the notification bell down in the corner below and i shall see you next time